Hello, and welcome to Lawrenceville. I'm Steve Murray, and I'm the headmaster. I'm here to speak to you as a lifelong educator, as a teacher, and also as a parent. My wife and I have five children, one of whom was a recent graduate, and we also have a fourth former. Having been a head of school for many years now, I've humbly come to accept that it's just not that cool to have your father be the headmaster, except maybe on nights when it snows. Then my son Henry's cell phone blows up with friends offering free advice on what to do about the next day. So you have a big decision to make, and I'm certain of a number of things here. First, for you parents, you are very committed to your children's future and to their education. And to you students who've earned admission into Lawrenceville, you've worked hard and focused and care a great deal about where you're going to spend the next years of your time in school. As a parent, as a teacher, and as an educator, I'd love to give you a couple of lenses to look through as you consider the choices ahead. The first lens has to do with creativity and the academic culture here. British educator Sir Ken Robinson has one of the most watched TED Talks of all time. And he has a premise that many schools stifle or wring out the natural creativity in young people. He tells a great story of a six-year-old girl who has a very hard time sitting still in class. Her teacher gives her worksheets every day, but she fidgets and just doesn't find it engaging. One day, the teacher says to her, take out a piece of paper and draw anything you want. And suddenly, the little girl gets down to work very, very focused and assiduously. The teacher is curious and comes over, and the girl's kind of hovering over her, her, her paper. The teacher can't quite see what's going on, and she says, what are you drawing a picture of? And the little girl says, I'm drawing a picture of God. And the teacher smiles and says, well, no one knows what God looks like. And the little girl says, they will in a minute. Think of how fragile that moment is, and how easily that teacher could have crushed that girl's creative energy and spirit. Here at Lawrenceville, we believe in truly embracing and opening up opportunities for young people, because this is a place where creative energy and confidence thrive. And of course, here I am standing in our brand new 15,000 square foot makerspace, the Groose Center for Art and Design, where we're just beginning to open up the possibilities for students to unleash their creative energy. The second lens is about belonging, about finding your place here. Not long ago, I asked a recent graduate about her transition into Lawrenceville. I knew that her father had recently relocated to the area, and she had to switch schools and come here as a brand new senior. So she arrived worried about where she'd fit in, about how she would meet people. She told me that at one of her first house meetings, she mentioned that she was a swimmer. The water polo captain happened to be in her house and came up to her and said, hey, you ought to come out for the water polo team. The young lady said, well, I've never played water polo before. And the captain said, don't worry about it. It'll be fun. Just come. And off she went. It was day two, and she never looked back. I happen to know the story pretty well because it was my daughter, Grace, who arrived as a fifth former. In my first year, my daughter's experience gave me a great insight into the warm, welcoming culture of this school. Your sense of being connected starts on day one when you arrive. So as you give us a careful look, you'll find here challenging teaching based on caring and nurturing adults, an environment that fosters creativity, and a deep-rooted sense of belonging. That's what Lawrenceville is all about.